In this video, we'll review some of the basic rules of exponents. First, let's simply review what it means to look at something raised to an exponent. The basic idea is when we have something raised to a power that's a positive whole number, what that means is that we're just multiplying that base, the x, by itself n times. So the exponent tells us how many times we're going to multiply that thing by itself. Now, if the exponent happens to be negative, the way that we interpret that is as 1 over x to the n. So for example, 2 to the minus 3 just means 1 over 2 to the 3, which would be 1 eighth. Next, something raised to the 0 power just equals 1. And then finally, if we have something raised to a fraction as a power, so that a divided by b, that's all in the exponent there, that gives us a root. So the most common root that we'll see is something like x to the 1 half power. And that just means the square root of x. If we had x to the 1 third power, that would mean the cube root of x. And if we have x raised to a power where the top of the fraction isn't a 1, something like, let's say, x to the 2 fifths, then the bottom of the fraction tells us the type of root that we're talking about, so the fifth root. And then the top of the fraction tells us the power that x is being raised to on the inside. It's actually equivalent to write this as the fifth root of x, parentheses, squared. Those are both two different ways to write the same thing. Now, typically when we talk about rules of exponents, we're talking about these. These are ways that we can combine two different terms that both look like exponents with the same base. So when we have x to the a times x to the b, we add those exponents. And if you're not sure about that, a good way to remember this is to just try to do it with some small numbers. So if, we, if for example, we had x squared times x cubed, why is that x to the fifth? Well, x squared is x times x, and x cubed is x times x times x. So this one was the x squared, and this one was the x cubed. And when we multiply five x's together, Right, count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's just x to the fifth. All right, what about this next one? x to the a divided by x to the b, that's x to the a minus b. And again, if you're not sure about that, let's just do it with some small numbers. What if I had x to the sixth divided by x squared? Well, on the top, that's x times x times x times x times x times x. Let's make sure I had six there, yep, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And on the bottom, I have x times x. And this x divides out with that x. This x divides out with that x. And what I'm left with is four x's all multiplied together. That's x to the fourth. And again, that's exactly what I get when I take six minus two. Finally, when I have a power raised to a power, so an exponential term, and then I have that raised to a power, I'm gonna multiply the exponents. And again, let's just do that with some small numbers. So if I had x squared, parentheses, cubed, then that's x squared times x squared times x squared, which is x times x times x times x times x times x. So again, here's an x squared, here's an x squared, here's an x squared. But that's x to the sixth, and that's exactly what I get when I multiply the two by the three. 